Scale systems. The technology that I'm going to focus on today is rich internet applications, predominantly Adobe Air. That's why I have free will to choose whatever vendors I want. And what's actually happened is we started off on open source because it was cheap and all this kind of stuff. But I've really gone into choosing the best of breed, um, such as Oracle and Database. Adobe Air, which stands for Adobe Internet Runtime. I highly encourage you to look at their infrastructure. A lot of what we call machine-to-machine -machine semantic web technologies, which I'm going to demonstrate for you rather than PowerPoint here today. In that is basically um, semantic web was initially designed in 1975, not by Sutton Berners Lee. And all the inference, the triples, all that semantic web stuff was invented in 1975. I've actually got the book, and my co-founder, Professor Rick Hayes Roth, who was also, also influential in OWL, um, was one of the main proponents of that technology. So it goes to show, all these new, ones the new. Um, I've lost over the AI kind of technologies. Uh, just one point in that, there's a technology that's come along, first thing in 10 years, is by MIT and it's called Alloy. And it's what you call a resolver. It's in the fifth incarnation of it and it's a hosted service by MIT, Alloy. And what Alloy, Alloy does is you give it all your factors and your variables and it rotates them around and, tell, and basically tells you the right or wrong. So the interesting side effect is when you feed your plan in, if it breaks the plan, you know you've got a fault. If it doesn't break it, you've got an extremely robust plan. So MIT, Alloy, you have a free version and then a version that you pay for. So for fuzzy logic kind of stuff, Resolve is it's a fantastic technology. 